So you own a home, you have purchased a few rental properties that are going really well. You feel like you're starting to really get the hang of this real estate investor gig, and then you find a property that is five units, and you're told now you need a commercial loan? No problem, right? You call up a lender, let them know you're reaching out to get your pre-approval letter, and need it later today to make an offer, and bam. They tell you they, you need what? In an hour? And no pre-approval letter until underwriting reviews at all? I am Melissa Mueller, a commercial and residential loan officer at Keystone Alliance Mortgage and Capital, a residential and commercial brokerage, where we offer many products and services that you will not find at your local bank or even single lender retail banks. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you get notified when we release a video each week that could help you grow your business or real estate portfolio. No one ever wants to find themselves in a situation where you feel completely lost, helpless, and at a disadvantage. Unfortunately, we see this happen quite a bit with commercial buildings and with commercial loans. They don't follow the same process, documentation, and steps as a residential loan, which is why we made this video. We want to share with you the main differences between the two loan types. First, let's talk about building types. We've got residential mortgages, which are only one to four unit buildings. In commercial loans, we can actually do one to four unit buildings as well, but we can also do five units and above, industrial buildings such as a warehouse, office, retail, mobile home parks, and specialty buildings such as a funeral home, church, medical building. Now let's talk about ownership. This is definitely an area where there's the biggest difference. Residential loans can only be deeded to individuals, where commercial loans can be deeded in an individual's name or in a business's entity. Now let's talk about documentation. So when you're getting a residential mortgage, all the documents that we're gonna collect are gonna be specific to the buyer. We wanna see, can they afford the payment? How much income is, are they bringing in? We wanna take a look at your bank statement. Now with commercial, the person's not gonna be the main focus. We're gonna focus more on the building and the business as it plays a bigger role in getting, pre -approved, getting approved and documents that are requested. For example, the pay stubs of the business owner probably not gonna be needed. But documents like business bank statements, a financial statement, company formation documents, they're much more common to ask, be asked for. The owner of the business needs to provide a personal financial statement, but it usually ends there. If you're purchasing a rental property, you're going to need to provide a rent roll for the income the property will be receiving. And many lenders will also want to provide you to provide a list of other buildings you own and their rent roll to assess the experience you have with similar buildings. Now let's talk about timeline and closing. Residential mortgages and purchases typically follow the same process and timeline. The national average is roughly 50 days, and everyone, for the most part, knows what to expect. But with commercial, the loan process does take longer, but if you're able to provide the documentation up front when you're looking for a property, this will help the process go smoother. You will still put a property under contract, your loan package will be sent to underwriting once everything is provided, and the underwriter will issue a letter of intent when they're confident they can lend you the money. This is when the appraisal and title is typically ordered. But one note of caution here, commercial loans do not have a set defined rules and regulations. It's all about the bank feeling comfortable with you and the property. It's all about risk. This is why there's no way to know everything that you're going to need to provide up front until we move further into the process. Lenders also want to wait to order appraisals until they get to this point because commercial appraisals can cost thousands of dollars. Be prepared to continue to provide things all the way until closing and until you get your final approval at the end. In general, we found that commercial brokerages like Keystone Capital will be able to close your loan faster than a local bank, but keep in mind every situation is different and unique. If you'd like to learn more about commercial loans and if, see if you qualify for one of the loans that we discussed in this video, all you need to do is click on the link in the description to schedule a time to discuss options together and also to download the personal financial statement we'll need from you to start the qualifying process. We'll be there to guide you and answer questions and point you in the right direction. We hope this video gave you the insight you're looking for and that you'll join us for more information on next week's video. If you know someone who could benefit from this information, please share this video with them. Hit the subscribe button and the bell to get further notifications. And if I didn't answer one of your questions, we would love to see your feedback in the comments. Otherwise, continue to check out all of the other home buying and homeowning tips on our channel and tune in for next week's video.